Hey everyone, I am TH Pine and welcome to Fallen A2P Protocol, whatever that is supposed to mean. It's a post-apocalyptic turn-based squad tactics game coming to Steam Early Access on the 6th of April and we're in one of the five main missions which are implemented in the game right now. Five main missions and three side missions. It's an action point system, so this is our main character, we have a few more over here. And every character has, has uh, 10 action points and you can spend those for moving, for example. So let's move, for example, behind this barrel. And this costs us a few action points, and now we could use our other action points for shooting, for example, I think. Ah, oh, we can shoot, very good. Um, we can shoot this guy, for example, for four action points. We have a 75% chance to hit, and three to four damage, 0% chance for crit. So let's just shoot him and see what happens. Oh, we actually kill him, so that was a good shot, four damage. Uh, lucky us. Well, this guy is leveled a little bit, so he deals more damage, I think, if I remember correctly. So that's always good. We have one point left, we can use that for defending. Uh, hunkers down to raise aim penalty to enemies, sounds good. You can use hotkeys for this hotbar, uh, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, by double pressing you quickly activate it basically, but you also have to confirm. Um, I'm pressing it twice, obviously confirms it, confirms it. <laughs> makes sense, right? So um, I think we call for backup here, get the rest of our team in uh, fighting range as well. Uh, you can see the guys have different weapons. Uh, you can switch him. Oh, he should use his burst. Oh, wait, we don't have ammunition for that. Um, that was maybe a mistake. Well, it doesn't cost action points to switch weapons, though, so let's switch back. He doesn't have ammunition for that thing. Too bad. I think we have a flamer on someone, though. Let's see who the flamethrower has. Um, this looks like an SMG. We only have one shot, though. That's, that's not brilliant, but we take it for now. Let's move over here. Hunker down this guy as well. Um, I don't think we have to get in cover actually. Let's just move up. Enemies are too far away anyway. So yeah, you have different weapons. Your moveset is quite basic. Shooting, hunkering down, overwatch. Oh, you have to skill overwatch though. Uh, this guy can, can overwatch because he can, uh, because he learned it. But you have to learn it before you use it. Uh, so nothing, nothing too fancy so far. Obviously you can reload, you can use your med picks and stuff. Med packs. Let's just shoot. Twice, I guess. The first one misses. Okay, let's shoot again. We have six matching points. There we go. Another good cr uh, hit. So, well, he's shooting quite quite effectively right now. Uh, I'm, I'm happy about that. Let's move up a little bit and follow up with the rest of the squad. And yeah, so the UI is not brilliant right now. You see some graphical glitches as well. The game is an early access. It's an alpha build, but. Um, yeah, you always have to touch the game on what it is right now, right? And so far the UI is not, not terrible, it works, but it's not super brilliant either. Those, those shadows. <laughs> what the heck. Um, the in-game UI is actually okay, the in-fight UI, but the, the UI for trading and stuff is a little wonky, I will show it later. Um, it's, well, you cannot really see how much, or you can't see how much ammunition you have, but uh, you don't know how much is in the weapon and how much is in your inventory. and. In, Switch back to the character every time. Character every time you switch weapon, uh, which is a little weird as well. But yeah, the system works fairly well so far, so um, no complaints about that. In-game activities act. Uh, In-game UI is okay, not brilliant as I said, but, but it's okay. You don't confirm your moves, so if you make a wrong move, you're actually screwed. But and there's no undo button, so well, that can be quite annoying. But I mean, if you, you if you think about your moves, that should not happen, right? So, okay. Um, I think what we do is we collect the loot from the guys who we killed here. So let's loot the area and see what they have. Some more bullets from a pistol, that's good. We don't take the pistol. Actually, let's take the pistol, we can sell it. And sometimes there's ammunition in it as well. Right now we cannot see that though, for some reason. There's one of the weird things, for example, the UI does. Um, but we got that. So, seems like the other pistol has zero shots, so let's switch to the other one as well, uh, again. So it was an empty weapon for some reason. I think the guy did not shoot me, so. Well, let's loot this as well. Well, we don't have slots anymore, but let's not, let's let's keep the, uh, let's keep the pistol and throw away the katana and um, move up. And uh, yeah, so um, there's weather in this game. I don't think there's any weather effect active right now, but um, the only weather effect I saw so far is like dust or something, which reduces your sight. No, it's not called dust, what's it called? I don't know. We might be might see it later again. 
Um, which reduces your, your vision range, basically. Oh, we are spotted on enemy. Okay. So they will start running around a little bit, trying to get to cover, cover and then we continue our turn. And um, let's see if we can get in a good spot. Actually, we were right open there. That was actually a bad move, but I don't think they can shoot me from over there anyway. So probably actually running over here is not a big deal. And when our turn is over, it's their turn. They try to kill us. They run into us. <laughs> Without going for cover, I guess. Well, he's kind of in cover. But not good enough. We're not quite in range. Um, let's switch characters, actually. You switch characters by pressing the tab key. There we go. Pew. Shoot him again. I'm personally not a big fan of um, those action point systems for turn-based tactic games, but that's kind of a personal thing. Uh, the reason I don't like them is because usually it just comes down to who shoots more often instead of actually tactical decisions. That's not always the case, obviously, but I just tend to prefer other systems like the one in XCOM, uh, for example. Oh, that was the SMG. SMG. It seems like I'm not running out of ammunition for that, for that thing for some reason. Doesn't seem like I'm hitting either, though. Um, that seems to be bugged. <laughs> Not quite sure. There are a few bugs in the game, definitely. Um, did we just soft lock? Hello, game. Um, yeah. Great. Not sure what's going on now. But I think the game just got in a lock, which is not good. There's a. There's a weird thing, there's a debug element basically still in. If I right click a character, he will die instantly, which is interesting. Um, it's a debug thing, I guess, for testing purposes, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm surprised it's not taken out yet, especially because you can softlock your game with it by just right clicking the, ca well, the character, your active character right now, because then you cannot make any moves um, anymore with them, but you cannot switch a character either, so you can softlock the game with, um, with that functionality, but apparently you don't need that to softlock the game. I'm not sure what I did that soft locked the game now, but I can demonstrate the right click thing, maybe that unlocks the game. So he just dies when I right click him. Mm, let's kill him. No, that's not gonna work. Cannot press escape either. So I guess I have to screw the recording here. Oh, that sucks. Actually, let's just restart. Don't have to screw the recording. Let me restart the game. Oh, now you see my desktop background for a second. Okay, there we go. We're in it again. Well, let's try that again. <laughs> um, actually, let's show you some other stuff before we continue fighting though. So, you, this is the world map basically. You drive around with this car and you can go to the sites and stuff and recruit people or trade. And here's a trading UI, which is Highly, well not confu- well a little bit confusing. So this is your inventory or the inventory of this character. This is the inventory of the trader or the trade shop. And you can trade, for example, let's say I want the um, the med kits. Um, I can put them over here. That will cost me three scrap. Or whatever the currency is supposed to be. I think it's scrap. And um, if I swap to another character because I want to buy the thick clothes for a different character, for example, then it will reset the trade shop and I have to go back here and actually have to hit the trade button. What's that? BP fist? Okay, interesting. Um, so let's, let's actually buy those clothes, because why not? We have tons of scrap for some reason. Not sure, that might be for testing purposes as well. Um, there is a... the grenade is actually bugged as well. You cannot run out of ammo, and it's completely broken OP. Uh, it's <laughs> it would be okay if you would have only have one grenade, but it doesn't run out of ammo for some reason. So I guess it's a bug, so that makes it OP. <laughs> but yeah, the game is not in a great state right now. It's not very polished, but you can see the basic mechanics uh, how they work here. So let's actually um, we could recruit people. Like we can just hire them. They have four different base stats and uh, standard. Well, not starting, starting gear, not standard gear. Uh, we could recruit them, but let's not do that. Uh, we can recharge our things, whatever that is. I think we use it for traveling with the car. Um, I'm not sure if it costs us something to recharge. I don't think so, but I'm not 100% sure. So you can see it over here, and if you, if you drive around, it goes down. 
So if we go to the mission again, we get a quick description, and then we can go to our characters, which we cannot access. Oh no, we can access them otherwise. Never mind. We can access them by going back here and going to Caravaneers. And oh, this is actually a way better menu. No, it's the same menu. Never mind. If you click Edit on a character, you get in the mission screen. You get to this menu as well. Um, this menu works fairly well. Uh, it's not brilliant, but it's okay. It works. Um, it gives you all the inventory stuff, and um, you can equip your stuff you bought, for example, the thick clothes. But what is confusing, for example, I missed that. Uh, forgot to say that about the trade menu, which actually is the most confusing about it. That you don't see your overall inventory, your global inventory. You only see the inventory of your characters. You cannot trade with that stuff or put it in there um, in your I don't know in your car or something, I guess. So that's that's really confusing. So basically you have to buy it with your character's inventory, then go to the, the screen here and put it in the global inventory if you don't want to put it on a character. Um, uh, or if you want to sell stuff, that's actually super confusing because you have to take this stuff. Oh, we don't need that, so let's demonstrate. Let, let's, we want to sell that. We have to put it in a personal inventory here. Um, for some reason we cannot stack them. Sometimes we can stack them, sometimes we can't. I'm not sure about that either. So uh, now we have to, we have them in the personal inventory of this Derek guy. Now we go over, out here, go to travel, go to site, go to trade, and now we can sell it by clicking this character and put those things over here. But only as long as there's space here for selling either. So it, it's a little strange. What's that? Toxic vial, Dragon King, a flamer. Okay, sniper bullets. Yeah. It's, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. So the UI is not brilliant, as you can see. Um, I I'm talking about the lot, maybe a little too much. <laughs> but there's not too much else to say. So basically, um, yeah, let's talk about the skills as well. So your characters level up, they get skill points, and you can spend those skill points on those skill trees. However, every character has the same skill tree, so that's kind of boring. Um, I'm not sure if those will change later. Maybe, but right now everyone has the same skill tree, which has basically four trees uh, with linear upgrades. So this one is basically melee, uh, this one is support, um, this is like agility and defense I think, and this is like shooting more damage and stuff. So um, yeah, let, we can spend some points for example taking this. There's, uh, as you can see, there's over here, uh, the, the, the tooltip is not useful either. <laughs> um, it's not in a finished state yet obviously. Grants 5% critical hit chance for fire weapon attacks, okay let's use that. And uh, planners. Skipping a turn without taking any action grants two AP bonus next turn. Okay, interesting. Let's take that. Why not? Um, yeah, and your different fire modes actually. Uh, fast attack and what's the other one? Fast reload. This is not a different <laughs> attack, but I think this one is. No, there's there's one different fire mode. Where is it? This is fast attack. Pretty sure there was another fire mode somewhere. I'm not sure. Like this costs less AP, but gives you less hit chance. Ah, uh, yeah, it's take aim, right. Grants 15% hit chance and 10% critical chance for range attack at a cost of 2 AP. So yeah, this is a different fire mode I did not use actually so far. We have tons of skill points. We level up like crazy. Oh no, they're actually not going down. Never mind. Yeah, I mean, that's a different bug, I guess. Maybe they are... Did they go down? Oh, they did go down, but they did not update here. I don't know, this game has tons of bugs. You can see, I guess, so far. I uh, Let's jump into it. No, actually, we don't have to. I think I can wrap up the video, more or less. Um, the, the, the the UI is not terrible, but not brilliant either. The game is incredibly unpolished. Keep in mind, this is a Kickstarter project. I mean, you can buy this in early access right now, but I would personally not recommend it. Uh, you can say, no, about Pi and its early access, they will fix all that stuff. Yeah, maybe. From my experience though, when a game hits early access, the state of the game at that point is actually very, well, tells you a lot about the state of the game in the, when it's finished. So if there are a lot of bugs and the game's unpolished, it will probably have a bunch of bugs on release as well and will not be super polished. And if the UI is pretty terrible, which is, this is not terrible, it's not just not brilliant, then um, it will not be super great on release either, in most cases. Obviously, there are exceptions. But for those exceptions, you can just wait. You put the game on your wish list, you wait for a release, you take a look at it, did it improve? If it improved, great! Then you got one of those exceptions and you can buy it, but uh, yeah, in the current state, I, I would not recommend this game. I mean, the, the setting is, well, pretty generic, post-apocalyptic, I guess. 
Well, maybe not generic, but it's post-apocalyptic. A lot of people like that a lot. Um, I'm not too big of a fan, but that's obviously personal taste. Um, there is a story involved. I skipped it because I didn't want to spoil anything. Uh, the, the, the writing is... Yeah, it's just writing. There. There's no voice acting or anything. So there is story involved and stuff. As I said, five main missions so far and three side missions you can do. But And there will be more when the game is finished, obviously. So, yeah. I think you can make your own judgment here now. Um, I personally would not buy it right now. I, if you're interested in those sort of games, wait for release, take a look at it again. At that point, uh, if you're desperate for playing a post-apocalyptic turn-based squad tactics game though, then you might want to take a look. As I said, it releases on the 6th of April. Why not release? Coming to early access on the 6th of April. And it's called Fallen A2P Protocol. Thanks a lot for watching, have fun and see you next time.